Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and we have the official information in regards to the Extreme Z Awakening of Goku and Frieza. So, um, we'll just kind of go through everything in regards to the leader skill here. So they didn't change anything with the category leader skill, but they did take the, the tech type, key plus 3 up to 120 instead of 90. So that's very good with what they did there. It's going to be very much in line with some of the different things, secondary skill, completely understand why they did that so that's going to be pretty good now as far as the super attack both on the 18 12 and 18 key they put raises defense for the turn so that's going to help him with his defensive output now as far as the passive skill they still left the attack and defense plus 77 percent when attacking and then the 77 uh, attack on everything else that goes around so with the ultra super attack and then when the enemy is in uh, attack down status but then what they did add on to it is the defensive down status when they're stunned or if the enemy's super attack is sealed. So it's going to be just like some of the other units and stuff that they have come around and done lately with the tournament of power and some of the different things with having them in any type of a uh, any type of status that is uh, hurting the unit. So that's going to be very good. Plus, they did end up giving them key plus one at the start of each turn up to seven per, er, plus seven. So... It does, it's not each turn that they're in from the way that I'm reading it. It is key plus one each turn. So if they come in on turn one, they're going to get key plus one. Then key plus two on, on turn two, which they won't actually be on rotation. When they come back on key three, they'll actually get three key on that second or third rotation. So that's going to be pretty interesting. That's the way I'm reading it. So it should be the way everything uh, would work out there. And that's going to be pretty good because that's going to solve the key issue. Now, the, the reason why I, that I think some people are afraid that it's a little bit underwhelming is I think they were really looking at just completely breaking the game. And that's not what I think they're going to do with the LRs. Me personally, I was really hoping that they would do a unit super attack or an active skill because I really think that that's something they could add on to the units and everything would be okay with it. But for one reason or another, they chose not to do that. So with this, they're able to turn around and say, okay, we're going to go ahead and make some of the slight adjustments that we need to go ahead and make. Now, the thing that's really interesting when it comes down to defensive status, they do automatically put people in defensive status just at the, right, at the start. So right here, you can see solid support. Now, you've got at a level 1 and level 10, all enemies defensive down, negative 15% or negative 20%. So all they need to do is have solid support going on and they're going to be perfectly fine. So they're going to have their keys, they're going to have their attacks, everything else that's going to still be able to go on through. It's still going to work out for them. So when you actually look at some of the different units that have these links, wait for it to go ahead and load up here, you're going to be able to see that it's going to make a difference. And it doesn't, you could be link level 1, link level 10, it's not huge, it's 5%. So you don't have to be worrying about grinding out like you do on Big Bad Bosses or Majin Power. But when you when you take a look at some of the different units, you, you right there you've got uh, Team 7. So they've got uh, solid support. Plus you have Golden Frieza and Android 17. They have solid support. When you're looking at just the URs, you have the Krillin that's got it. And then the TN. TN obviously still helps. And, and, and you have solid support then with the two... Uh, Master Roshi and Tien, then also Gohan and uh, Piccolo, so that's going to help out there. I mean, so there's going to be plenty of units you're going to be able to select Krillin in 18. Again, if you have the TUR version of the Android 17, that's going to help. And then probably some of the other really good ones, obviously you got Frieza. But you have your MVP 17, a lot of people should have MVP 17. And then the uh, uh, Master Roshi is going to have it as well, because I don't think they have Roshi. No, when he goes to an LR status, he does not have it. So he does lose out there. But still, I mean, there's, there's plenty of options to be able to make that to go through and work. So solid support is going to be very, very big for them. So right away, they're going to be able to get that 77%. And in most levels, you have a choice. It's either attack down or defensive down, or stun down, or it's rare that somebody is not able to get all of them. So that's pretty much the way that that breaks down. So 
I like them. I mean, I, I think that they did the right amount of units. They did the units some justice. Everything was going to be fine. Um, they didn't have to go through and, 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 and completely destroy anything. Uh, again, I really think that the uh, attack down stat, or excuse me, the active skill, or having the uh, unit super attack, I think would have been a really nice touch on the LR. That would have been fine. Maybe even make the lowering attack and lowering attack and defense on the 12 and 18 key, respectively. If they would have made those greatly, I think that would have been a nice boost. But, you know, once they kind of get in, you have to remember, they're going to go from a 20 super attack to a 25 super attack. So that's going to essentially move their 12 key from a colossal to a mega colossal. And then their mega colossal is going to go up even higher from that standpoint. So they're going to be doing a lot of damage. I mean, they're... Doing the punching bag event with this unit, Rainbow, should be no problem. And I, I have not completed the punching bag event, so if I don't do something beforehand, before this unit comes out, Rainbow, uh, in easy aid, then we're going to be great. So it's it's going to be pretty nice. I don't see the stats boosted yet officially, but I mean, if you're looking here when they're Rainbowed, I mean, you've got 23 attack and 13,000 uh, on defense. Usually those bump up about another thousand to 1500 so you're still gonna be looking at 24 and 15 you know maybe maybe 2000 uh, I think that's a bit of a stretch on those but I think that you're gonna be fine I mean the, the, this unit is gonna be hitting very very hard uh, continuing going through so they, they they have a nice little kit they've got a lot of different things that are going on they were already consistently the hardest hitting unit in the game this just solidifies it that much more so I mean, you're, you're, you're going to see when, when an enemy is in down status and they get 24 key, you can see crits easily in the 14 millions. Um, and, and that's turn one. I've done it. So, I mean, it's it, it's pretty big. So, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That, that easy A's. Really nice. Set up, ready to go. Uh, but if you guys haven't done so already, go ahead and... Uh, uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified every single time I'm uploading a new video and also let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this unit are you excited about it do you think that, every, that they did enough to it uh, again it was a really great ECA or really great unit to begin with so they didn't have to tweak much on it but otherwise guys that's it that's today's video thank you guys very much for watching we'll talk to you guys later